Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I want to talk to you for just a second about digital ditch digging. Um, boy, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? Digital ditch digging. If you're not familiar with the term, neither was I until recently, but I stole it from one of the listeners of my show uh, with his permission, of course. But we were talking about some of the changes. It was actually in the pre-show when I was talking with some of the uh, some of our audience. And um, we were talking about this idea that, and I was sharing it about the idea that our, our entire economy is changing. It's changing faster than anybody really recognizes. And um, the only thing that's really gonna keep you in control of your life is you choosing to have something that's kind of outside the system. What I mean by that is you are controlling your income, where it comes from, how it comes to you, and not relying on somebody else for your livelihood. And I explained a little bit about how when years ago, 1940s, 1950s, the bulk of the world was blue collar. And what I mean by that is they worked, they got up, they worked with their hands, they worked at the factory, they went home with, with grease on their shirt and, and gunk underneath their fingernails. And that was how they earned a living. And they got up every day and if they did a good job over the course of their life, then maybe they would uh, they'd get one of them gold watches, but probably not. They'd probably just get themselves a little pension and they'd go and, and retire into obscurity. And most of the time they would die just a few years after they retired. And everybody started going to college. There's a big push to go to college. These blue collar workers wanted their kids to have a better life. And so they would tell them, hey, you gotta go to college, gotta get, gotta get, uh, gotta get yourself an education so that you can get them one of them good white collar jobs, right? Where you can work up in management and you won't have to work down on the factory floor anymore. But as the years have gone by, the bulk of society now, especially here in America and in the industrialized world, has already come through that revolution. They all have white collar jobs. They're all sitting in little cubicles, punching away at keyboards and managing phones and doing all the work that 50 years ago people would have paid big money to be able to do. And the term that was floated by one of our listeners was, you know what, because uh, my, my point was blue collar, white collar has now become blue collar. What used to be blue collar jobs and what we thought of as blue collar jobs now, I mean, being an electrician, being a, you know, um, being a welder, uh, being, being a plumber, I mean, these are big $100,000 a year jobs. Meanwhile, you got guys in, in working in suits and ties and in white shirts in businesses and industries across the world making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year banging away on a keyboard. See, white collar has become the new blue collar. And what one of their listeners said was it's called digital ditch digging. And I thought, man, what a fantastic term, digital ditch digging. Because you see, it used to be if you didn't get an education, what did people say to you? They said, well, you know what, the world needs ditch diggers too. World needs ditch diggers. So don't get yourself an education. You could be out there digging ditches just like all those other blue collar workers. See, the bulk of the people today are digital ditch diggers. Yeah, they got the white shirt. They're working in the office. They got their own little space trying to work their way up to middle management. The truth is they're never going to make it out of there. There's only a select number of people who are ever going to make it into senior management. And most people are going to work their whole lives as a digital ditch digger because they haven't recognized how much the economy has changed. And so I want to ask you a question. Are you a digital ditch digger? Have you confused your education, your college education with you moving into uh, some sort of senior position? Because the fact is the world has convinced you that college is necessary for you to get a good job and for you to survive and for you to grow and for you to earn more over the course of your life. And the fact is college today isn't even a major consideration for most people. Today, college isn't even a prerequisite for some of the biggest companies in the world. Not for Amazon, not for Apple. Elon Musk doesn't care about it. What they care about is what you know and what you can do. And so I want to challenge you today. And if you've been living as a digital ditch digger to do something about it. Now, if you want some help with it, then you can go to controlthesource.com and that'll help you out a little bit. I want to take you through a little, uh, a little assessment. No, it's not an assessment. I want to take you through a, uh, a program, a coaching program that's going to help you identify some of those things that you could be doing to break out of that rat race. It doesn't cost you anything. It's totally free. 
And if you like it, then you can look at my Freedom Accelerator program and what that can do for you. But I just want you to really challenge you today over the course of the weekend to start thinking through what can I do to stop being a digital ditch digger and move into um, the future of commerce in America, the future of employment, which is really self-employment. It's individuals taking personal responsibility and personal action for their own lives and controlling the source of their income and every aspect of their life. That's where true freedom comes from. So guys, thanks so much. Enjoy your, uh, your holiday weekend. Enjoy your loved ones and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you real soon.